Hi there guys, this is Faye from Face World Media and in this short video I want to talk to you guys about the brand new release of YouTube Podcast. We're talking about the podcast tab, how you can actually create a playlist just for your podcast or your live stream interviews. And then looking at the analytics together, we'll talk about monetization. But what if you already have a show or a podcast you've been releasing on YouTube? I'm going to show you how to edit the playlist so that YouTube recognizes the playlist as a podcast or vice versa, a playlist that should be of YouTube podcasts as a content type, how you can actually update it. Furthermore, we'll talk about the order of the episodes as they appear inside a playlist. You'll have the option to sort by most popular, most least recent, for instance, but strategically, how should you think about organizing them? Please watch till the end because I want to talk about the best practices of growing your podcast on YouTube. If you're under youtube.com, make sure as a creator, you go to the upper right hand corner, go to YouTube studio like so. Now you're inside, let's get started. To explore the new change, go under content on the left hand side and you immediately see that there is now official and permanent podcasts tab right here. So click on that. By default, what you'll see is if you already have podcast shows, live stream shows, what YouTube is trying to do is automatically group them together and list them here. Now, if you don't see that, you can also update them. Before we get there, let me go ahead and show you just a few screenshots. And I've listed these steps also in the description below. If you're ready to create a brand new podcast inside YouTube, what your screen looks like is this under podcast, you have new podcasts and you can finish with these steps very easily just with a title description. Uh, you can choose visibility. And lastly, you can update a square podcast thumbnail as well. Now, if you're like me, like many of you guys, there's already a podcast or podcasts inside. Now, if you two made a mistake, you can actually very easily update the playlist. Let me show you. So simply click on this options three dots, and then you can simply choose set as playlist. This will actually move this podcast playlist outside of the podcast tab and put in a regular playlist, which this one right next to it. Now, if you go into the playlist tab, now, if there's something that really should be a podcast and it's not same thing, click on the three dots and say set as podcast. All right, let's go back to the podcasts tab for a moment here. I want to actually quickly show you the details, which is to click on the pencil icon. A couple of things. Number one, visibility, as we just talked about and very minimal information you need to really worry about there. And also there's order, there's dates published, newest, oldest. Also there's most popular and, you know, manually sorted uh, on YouTube. You can also do that strategically. What should you do now knowing that you actually have options for most podcasts, just like how they're displayed in Apple or Google podcast, you might want to consider choosing sorting by the newest. So like so a date published, the newest hit save, you're done. Now, if you're running a show or if you prefer to create a, a playlist that is sorted manually, maybe it's called the best of such and such podcast, you can certainly do that. So you have options. Now, lastly, from within your podcast, you notice on the left hand side, there are analytics. So you can actually look at analytics directly from your playlist, which is also quite convenient. Over here, you can see you have very similar information compared to regular video analytics. Also the watch time here and also revenue as you scroll down, it's looking at your top content within this period. Uh, by default, it's based on 28 days that I've selected. What about if I choose 365 days? As you can see, that's how they're listed here. Very straightforward. At the same time, you can look at the details of the content, audience and revenue. I'm really surprised by the watch time, which is much higher for me. And here are the key moments for audience retention. You can also study further and quickly onto audience and also revenue. Now, how do you get to this page? If you are under the general analytics tab, which is right here, let me show you real quick. And so you can scroll down and podcast analytics is appearing to on the right hand side. So simply click on podcast analytics and boom, you're here again. So I hope you find this helpful and I'll see you at the end of the video. One of the most important things for me to have learned after being a podcaster for nine years on and off of YouTube is the importance of micro content or bite sized content. Now you can absolutely do that on YouTube. In fact, because YouTube shorts are getting so popular, we're talking about those vertical under 60 second content on YouTube. 
why not slice and dice and generate these micro content into YouTube shorts for your podcast? Especially if you're doing these long form content, you know, by long form, we mean anything that's longer than a minute. And most podcast shows are at least 15, 20 minutes, oftentimes 45 minutes, an hour or longer. There's so many opportunities to create many, many micro content that you can repurpose as part of your uploading process. Now I want to mention this exciting tool that we have developed as part of Face World called Pod Intelligence. You'll get a web-based clip browser by processing one hour or more of your podcast content. We're able to help you sort your content, give you micro content by keyword length, even speaker. So there's so much you can do. And that whole process is automated so that you don't have to open up, you know, Final Cut Pro or any other video tools, you'll get those micro content right away. So I've included links for all this information below. Check it out. And we're here for questions. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you like this video, I highly recommend that you check out this one right here and I'll see you over there.